foot section of the canal was refilled with material that had been dredged from the river almost 35 years earlier. The adjacent spoil banks were leveled, enabling the water to return to a portion of its original floodplain. The primary objective for doing a pilot construction project was to test the construction methodologies and test how the soils will respond as we put them back in the canal. South Florida Water Management District personnel monitored the water quality downstream of the test plug. What we determined our conclusions from our, our sampling program were that uh, there was really no uh, impacts, at least no long-term impacts associated with test fill construction. Uh, we did note that there were some increased turbidities uh, directly north and directly south of the test fill area during construction activities. Um, turbidity at those sites did increase quite a bit, but we saw no downstream transport of total suspended solids. Other South Florida Water Management District biologists soon found positive signs in the newly created floodplain. Within weeks after the spoil material was removed, uh, wetland plants began to emerge from the fr uh, freshly exposed soils. Now, 80% of this area is covered with a diverse complement of submergent and emergent vegetation. Evaluation of the test fill will continue to provide critical information for fine-tuning the full-scale restoration which will begin in 1998. Though the restoration plan has been approved, some individuals and groups still believe the project to be a mistake. It wasn't ideal when they did it to start with. Now we're going to spend how many times that expense to try to put it back where it was. It wasn't, didn't suit anybody then. What makes us think it's going to suit them when it goes back? at a tremendous cost. Well, we weren't in favor of them doing what they've done to it, and I think that it, the best thing to do is leave it alone just like it is now, and not try to go back in and fill it up. Despite this thoughtful, and at times vocal, opposition to the project, 25 years of research and testing points to the potential of an excellent recovery of the river's environmental values, values that extend far beyond the Kissimmee. Well, if you look at the Kissimmee in relationship to the overall system, uh, this is the, the headwaters. Uh, so what we will be doing with the restoration of the Kissimmee is uh, reconnecting through a vital artery uh, the top of the whole environmental system to Lake Okeechobee uh, and all the way down to Florida Bay and uh, the Florida Keys. Uh, so it's, the, uh, it's a vital artery for wildlife, for water, uh, for nutrients, for the flow of natural uh, resources through this system. And then there is this concern. The Kissimmee River's vast floodplain ecosystem was unique in all the world. Hindsight provided the harsh lessons learned from channelization. How then, and at what point in time, can it be determined if the restoration is succeeding or failing? The success of the restoration project will be tracked by a comprehensive ecological evaluation program that will measure responses by an array of fish and wildlife components. The scientific community is closely following restoration of the Kissimmee River. The project is viewed worldwide as a model for other prospective ecosystem restoration efforts. How will the Kissimmee look in 20 years? Will its rich canvas of birds and fish return? Will its wetlands nourish and protect new generations of wildlife? Will its natural attributes please the eyes of boaters and hikers? The answer lies somewhere between the knowledge and tools of science, the healing power of nature, and the willingness of men and women to work toward the vision of a restored river. Well, my dream of the river in 20 years would be that uh, people would have access to it, that it would be a stable, in a stable condition. 
sports would have the ability to go there and fish, if you would, but I'd also like to have the ability to ranch and farm. I'd like to come back in 20 years uh, with my grandchildren and uh, stay at a, a lodge on the Kissimmee Prairie and maybe take a canoe trip uh, down the restored river from the, uh, the, uh, the lake, uh, uh, Lake Kissimmee into uh, Lake Okeechobee. My dream of the Kissimmee River is for it to be restored to the way it used to be so the generations of the future can enjoy it. Well, my dream for the Kissimmee is a project that doesn't really look like a project. Kissimmee floodplain was the most beautiful place that I'd ever seen in my life when I was a kid over there, 16 years old. And I want to see it back like that again, hopefully within my lifetime, if not for my children and my children's children. There have always been dreams for the Kissimmee. Dreams of opportunity, dreams of hope, nightmares of loss. And now there is a new vision, a vision of returning the river to its natural environment, an environment that made it truly unique. Deep in the heart of Florida, the Kissimmee still beckons. We are finally answering her call.